Joining us today on omanobserver.om, it's His Excellency Dr. Hamid bin Saeed Alofi. And uh, Your Excellency, can you tell us uh, the strategy the ministry is having uh, when it comes to the fisheries wealth? Well, thank you very much for give, giving me this opportunity to talk to, to you. Um, we have uh, adopted a strategy, development strategy, uh, funded by the government and that will be excluded between 2013 and 2020. Uh, the strategy was approved last year in March and with a total budget of 509 million Omani Riyal. And these uh, funds will be uh, utilized to improve the infrastructure and complete uh, other uh, infrastructure that needed to support the, the fishing fleet. And this including uh, fishing ports in all the coastal towns landing facilities, wholesale markets, retail markets, and uh, substantial fund to upgrade the fishing fleet as well uh, as subsidies to the local fishermen to improve their technology and uh, uh, increase the catch. And uh, other funds devoted to develop aquaculture, and uh, there is plan ongoing right now to execute all these projects, and some of them will be starting very soon. Mm -hmm. We can see the construction. Uh, the, the aim of this, of course, is to increase uh, the contribution of the fisheries sector to the national economy and to create uh, employments to the Omanis. And uh, we're expecting by 2020 the catch of the sultanate will be doubled from around 200,000 tons to 480,000 tons of fish and the creation of around 20,000 tons of uh, uh, employments to the national Omanis. Uh, this plan, this is a very generous support from the government, and I think mm -hmm. this will uplift the, the fishery in the next, after 2020. At the same time, we signed um, uh, an agreement with the World Bank to mm -hmm. study the sustainability of Oman fisheries as well. Mm -hmm. And this is a two years contract with the World Bank, and their experts started uh, the mission uh, the, this month, the first mission, and uh, we are developing again uh, the, uh, some projects to, to make sure that uh, fisheries is sustainable uh, and maximize the benefits in, for the national economy. Your Excellency, now you're the Under Secretary for the Fisheries, and you would be the right person to tell us more about the shortage mm -hmm. of uh, fish that has been faced in the market in the country for a few years now. And uh, what are the measures that have been taken that have been successful? Well, sh we cannot call it shortage, of course. This is uh, supply and demand. Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, the prices uh, will be determined by supply and demand in uh, different markets and different p uh, time of the year. And uh, mm -hmm. we witnessed uh, some shortage only during the off seasons. That's the winter months. That's uh, December and January and mm -hmm. part of February. And again, in summer, June and July, when there is the, 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 the temperature goes uh, very high. Mm -hmm. uh, during winter, of course, there is a number of storms hitting the Sea of Oman, Arabian Sea, and that uh, make the fishing fleet idle for a few days. And this, uh, you know, create a shortage of fish in the local market and escalated fish prices. Mm -hmm. What we have done since the last two years, we have a control on the export of some species, like, for example, tuna and uh, kingfish and sahwa and uh, grouper is uh, completely banned from export and deforested only for local markets to make sure that uh, we have enough supply to local markets and other species like uh, uh, breams and uh, other species like jacks and uh, uh, mackerels are, um, uh, we allow only 50% of that species, there's around eight species, allowed only 50% of those species to be exported uh, outside Oman and 50% will be marketed in Oman. This helped the situation uh, in the local markets and uh, uh, but when there is no supply, you know, the export uh, ban will not, will not help really because mm -hmm. uh, people are looking for fresh supply. True. Majority of, of local people there because we are on a, you know, a long coastline and people, you know, uh, used to consume uh, fresh fish. So turning uh, to frozen fish, you know, at a certain period of the year, mm -hmm. is, they are reluctant, you know, and they're still demanding fresh fish. And True. there is no supply of fresh fish when there is a storm, mm -hmm. especially, you know, when you have a week of... Uh, Unconvenient weather for the fishing fleet. Fishermen will, will, will be idle and uh, there'll be no supply of fish. Only those you know, uh, brave fishermen who will go and fish mm -hmm. during the you know, rough weather and bring uh, a kingfish or a tuna. Mm -hmm. Of course, the, 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 because of the high demand on that particular piece mm -hmm. of fish, mm -hmm. the prices of that fish will, will be very, very high.
And I think that's uh, the fishermen deserve to get a better prices if you go and, uh, you know, and uh, venture out. out. Yes, yes. Yes. And uh, what we did also, we, we, are, uh, we are opening, uh, we are, of course, developing the local markets, the mm -hmm. retail markets in all the wilayat. We upgraded them. We have 17 markets now under development. Mm -hmm. I think contractors will start in the next few months. This all the markets in Dakhliya, Sharqiya, Dahra, and part of Al-Batna uh, to improve them. And we are building new markets with the modern technology. This is, will be air-conditioned uh, mm -hmm. markets, fully, uh, fully uh, cooling systems in, in, the, in the market with cold stores and ice plants and all the facilities needed by the also the first market, uh, uh, hopefully will, the construction will start uh, in, in this year, inshallah. Mm -hmm. And we also promoted the opening of fish shops around the country, and uh, we supported with the subsidies from the ministry, 42 shops until now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we are targeting uh, towns away from the sea normally, like uh, Nizwa, Bahla, okay. Ibri. And we encourage local uh, Omanis, you know, the, the entrepreneurs to, to uh, you know, um, uh, open shops. And we gave them around 5,000 riyals of equipment wow. to, to support them. And this is now very popular among uh, youth, the open mm -hmm. shops, and uh, they get the support from the ministry. And uh, we link them to the local production companies for the supply or with some traders. And, so you are uh, seeing a good response from them? Yes, yes there's a good response. And now this is, these shops are popular. Now shoppers, they go to the market or they go to mm -hmm. the, you know, the mall or they go to the fish shop. Mm -hmm. And now, this, this year, we have some plans to open more shops around the country. We, we, so I think this, this also will, will uh, ease the, the shortage of fish, especially in remote places where they can have extra capacity to, to store frozen fish or chilled fish when there is no, no supply of fresh fish. What about the al Filage Fishery Center? The al Filage uh, wholesale market is, mm -hmm. is uh, under its way. So we're only waiting for a final you know, um, installation of the electronic equipment that's supplied from outside Oman. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, uh, it's, we promised that it will be arrived to Sultan Qaboos port this week or the, the next few days, and after that it will be installed in the market, and uh, we should have soft opening of the wholesale market by the end of this month to invite traders and also the buyers and sellers who come to the wholesale market and uh, trade the fish. And it will be um, an electronic plat platform for trading fish, one of its kind in the Middle East. Mm. And uh, that's what delayed the opening. We can open it now. It's manual, but uh, mm. we prefer to do to go full blown uh, electronic trading of fish in, in the Sultanate. Um, what about uh, the export market? Which is our biggest market when it comes to export of fish? We, well, the biggest market is the neighboring markets, Dubai market, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, okay. and Kuwait. And, uh, but unfortunately, the, all the export in these uh, markets is uh, all fish unprocessed. And we, that's why we, this conference is looking at the processing you know, uh, opportunities here in Oman. And we try to reduce uh, export of raw material and uh, increase the export of value-added products. Because this processing will add you know, to the uh, national GDP and also create more employment opportunities for the Omanis. Uh, other destination, of course, Europe. We are um, we are uh, succeeding to access the European market because the standards we adopted here, the HACCP system, mm -hmm. and other international standards within the, the, the mandate of the European Union, North America, and Japan. So we have no problem accessing any market in the world uh, because the, the systems adopted here is uh, is, a, is a international standard accepted by by any other country. Uh, mm -hmm. So we export to Europe around 10 percent. We export to other countries in Asia and in, in, uh, Africa. It's a free, free trade market, and uh, companies will pick their, their uh, uh, clients from different parts of the world. Your Excellency, one final question, and a crucial one, I think. How about the fishermen in Oman? Are we losing them to modern day's job? Are they moving away from the traditional yes. occupation? If you look at the, the, the last 40 years, you know, uh, if this you know, uh, sector was open to non-Omanis, I think we're going to lose all the Omanis. But I think there are there strict rules to, to maintain this sector for the local Omanis only. And during the years, the 40 years, we see an escalation in the number of fishermen. The number of fishermen is growing. Mm -hmm. Give, uh, or, uh, giving the fact there is, you know, tremendous incentives in other sectors like tourism, mm -hmm. like government jobs, like other, uh, the oil industry. But because of the high prices we the witness right now, I think fishermen, they, they still I think fishing can give them a good reward while well, they are staying at their home in the villages. And that's why we, we are really reluctant to interfere with the prices because there is a big pressure from the consumer to, yes. 
to you know to dump prices and this is unhealthy for the economy anyway this will destroy mm -hmm. the whole fishery we, we're talking about a free economy and a free market mm -hmm. and supply and demand will determine the prices and good prices will enable Omani Omani mm -hmm. uh, to support his family from fishing the number is uh, we have a good number we have 40,000 fishermen registered in the, in the ministry some of those have of course dull occupation and some of them are full-time mm -hmm. engaged in the fishing with the huge amount of subsidy uh, given by the government, uh, I think this is what maintains fishermen to stay in the, in the market. We lost a number uh, last two years because of the government hiring program, but I think uh, some people that stay, stay prefer to stay in the occupation because what they got from fishing is higher than what they got from the, from the other industry. Fantastic. On that positive note, Your Excellency, Dr. Hamed Alofi, thank you so much for giving us your time. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank and you. Covering the discomfort. Thank, thank you. you, sir.